WWE Raw After Extreme Rules 2021 is a show to watch out for, for a multitude of reasons. There's a Big Big E vs Bobby Lashley match that's been advertised and also, it's the final episode before the upcoming draft, so all the pieces should fall into place over three hours, will WWE Raw be the final time that we see all three members of the New Day together? Could AJ Styles and Omos be separated into two different brands after this? What's next for Bobby Lashley? Feel free to share your thoughts and views in the comments about all of these surprises. Also, let us know which move should happen in the upcoming draft. Number 5, Big E is attacked by powerhouse WWE Raw star Keith Bearcat Lee. Listen, how often is it that the baby faces outnumber the heels? You have three members of the New Day and Bobby Lashley doesn't even have MVP by his side. Chances are that he could recruit someone to stand by his side, and this man is Keith Bearcat Lee. Lee has been stuck in limbo for a long time now on the WWE Raw roster, even though he did return to lose to Lashley not long ago, he hasn't been seen since. One has to assume that the new name is him being repackaged for a new role, and an alliance with the Almighty may be just that. With Keith Lee by his side, Lashley and Lee could take the fight to the new day and maybe, just maybe, even regain the WWE Championship. Is Big E a transitional champion? Could he lose his title as early as this week's episode of WWE Raw, with Lee's interference? Number 4, Naomi shows up on WWE Raw and confronts Charlotte Flair. Why would Naomi show up on WWE Raw? Well, she's been longing for her big opportunity and unfortunately, Sonya Deville hasn't been too enthusiastic about giving her a chance. This is why she could certainly show up on the red brand and go straight for the queen of the division. Obviously, the match will not come to pass until a later date, which could be a massive stage like Royal Rumble or WrestleMania. Number 3, Kofi Kingston turns on Big E. So could we see the ultimate heel turn right before the draft? Kofi Kingston turns heel and leaves Big E laying in the middle of a WWE Raw ring and then, they are split into two separate brands, so they cannot face each other until WrestleMania comes around. Maybe Kingston goes on to win the Royal Rumble, and then he challenges Big E at the show of shows for the WWE Championship. It would certainly shake things up big time and even make the product a lot more intriguing over the coming months. Number 2, Alexa Bliss transforms into a brand new character. Could WWE Raw superstar Alexa Bliss drop the childish act and transform into a fearsome variant of her doll Lily? Now that the doll is no more, Bliss could put on a Lily mask and unleash a brand new attitude. She could adopt an almost similar gimmick to Finn Balor, who operates at a higher level when he transforms into the demon. The next encounter between Bliss versus the current Raw Women's Champion may have a very different outcome. Number 1. A new team steps up for the WWE Raw Tag Team Championships. Randy Orton and Riddle need a solid tag team to contest against. This may come in the form of Umberto Carrillo and Angel Garza, who came together recently. It is very likely that they have their sights on the WWE Raw Tag Team titles. Is it time for the unlikely duo of RK Bro to implode and for this underrated tag team to get the rub in the process? If not, is there another heel tandem on the roster they could potentially contest against? Bray Wyatt has opened up about how he felt after the WWE Hell in a Cell 2019 between him and Seth Rollins. The two superstars faced each other in a Hell in a Cell match for the Universal Championship. Wyatt challenged Rollins as his alter ego, The Fiend. The match ended in disaster, as the match was ruled a no contest because Rollins buried The Fiend under many weapons before smashing him with a sledgehammer. The fans in attendance were upset. Turns out, so were the participants. Appearing on the latest episode of Steve Austin's Broken Skull Sessions show, Seth Rollins spoke about what happened after his Hell in a Cell match with the fiend Bray Wyatt. The Messiah said he was ready to strangle Vince McMahon and had to be held back by WWE producer TJ Wilson, aka Tyson Kidd. I came through that curtain and I was ready to strangle Vince McMahon. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. Tyson Kidd, TJ Wilson, WWE producer, was there to hold me back. Dude, I stared right into Vince's eyes. You know where he sits in that chair over there, backstage. I looked at him, he looked at me, we didn't say a single word to each other, and he walked out," Rollins said. Bray Wyatt responded to the news of Rollins wanting to strangle McMahon after Hell in a Cell 2019, declaring his reaction was even stronger, he replied to a tweet about it. Wait until you hear my reaction, said Bray Wyatt. The no contest at Hell in a Cell 2019 was one of several poor booking decisions WWE made with Bray Wyatt during his time with the company. He was released nearly two months ago, and has been rumored to debut in AEW soon. The reports suggest that Wyatt will show up on this Wednesday's episode of Dynamite despite not completing his 90-day non-compete clause. The show is in Rochester, New York, the hometown of the late Brody Lee, one of the former WWE champion's closest friends. Would you like to see Bray Wyatt in AEW? Let us know in the comments section below. Roman Reigns has finally reacted to putting down the demon Finn Balor in a bizarre finish at Extreme Rules 2021. Universal Champion Roman Reigns took on the demon at tonight's Extreme Rules pay-per-view. 
the hard-fought encounter ended strangely and left the WWE Universe confused. During the final moments of the bout, Finn Balor climbed up to the top rope, in a surprising turn of events, the rope broke and Balor fell on the ring mat. As soon as he got up, Reigns hit him with a devastating spear to pick up the big win, Reigns later took to Twitter to break his silence following the huge victory, here's what the tribal chief wrote, WWE has already scheduled a Roman Reigns vs Brock Lesnar outing at the 2021 Crown Jewel event that will emanate from King Fahd International Stadium in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Reigns fans were quite sure that he would put Baylor down at Extreme Rules and head over to Crown Jewel as Universal Champion. That's exactly what happened, even though the Demon gave Reigns a run for his money, the ending to their match was a weird one that didn't sit well with a lot of fans on social media, Reigns have been unstoppable for over a year now, he's defeated a long list of big names during his Universal title reign. Earlier this month, Baylor spoke highly of Reigns and heaped major praise on his Extreme Rules opponent. The world was talking s about Roman and his abilities and his performances. From the first moment we locked up, I knew he was something special. He was operating on a different level that people didn't quite fully understand. Now people are learning he is a once-in-a-lifetime talent. Roman's proven that over and again, and the masses have accepted and acknowledged that ability and growth. His presence is just unimaginable right now, said Baylor. Reigns is done with the demon and now will have to focus on the beast incarnate. Brock Lesnar and Reigns have faced off on various occasions in the past, and have traded wins, it would be interesting to see how Lesnar fares against Reigns' new, ruthless and unforgiving avatar. WWE fans are still venting their frustrations over the ending to Sunday night's Extreme Rules on social media. Extreme Rules main event ended in a bizarre fashion on Sunday night, and a lot of fans aren't happy about it. Extreme Rules 2021 has now been and gone and despite not announcing that any of the matches had particularly extreme stipulations ahead of the show, the main event was a no-disqualification affair. Finn Balor reintroducing the demon in his quest to dethrone Roman Reigns and become Universal Champion for the second time in his career, that didn't happen as the match ended in a rather bizarre fashion, after being speared through the barricade. The demon's lights and music resurrected Baylor, and appeared to put him on the fast track to winning the match. With Reigns out cold in the ring, Baylor ascended to the top rope and prepared to deliver what would have almost definitely been a winning coup de grace. That move didn't happen as for reasons still unknown to those of us watching the match. The top rope gave way. Baylor fell into the ring, jarring his knee and eating a spear right afterward from a recovered tribal chief that led to Reigns pinning Baylor for a three-count and retaining his title. That's the first time Baylor has lost as the demon on the main roster. Fans naturally took to Twitter right after the show, and many of them aren't happy with how the show went off the air. While Baylor's demon was somewhat protected, there was no immediate explanation as to what happened to the top rope. While it will hopefully be explained on SmackDown later this week, WWE has a track record of not following through with angles, and there's a risk that fans will be left to assume it was a perfectly timed coincidence. As for the theories floating around regarding who's responsible, it could have just been an USO or Paul Heyman cutting the rope while the arena was dark and full of smoke, it could have been a new member of the bloodline that will be introduced at a later date. The favorite, but perhaps most unlikely theory at the moment, is that Bray Wyatt was responsible for the botch. The Fiend was supposed to feud with the Demon before Baylor went back to NXT. Perhaps Wyatt has been rehired, and that will be his first match back. He was uncharacteristically chatty on social media during Extreme Rules, 